Oh, left field, how I've how I've missed you. I haven't picked up a beer from you guys or from the LCBO from you in a while because it's uh, I just haven't seen anything new. And today was that day. I found two new things. Another one coming in a few days. We got this guy here, and I'm still trying to figure out how the hell to pronounce it. So let's do it. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, in front of the Ruski Bruski review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys is a shorter can, but that's how Left Field does their beers, which is a crying shame because they make really good beers and I always want more. But we got to do with what we got. Today, we have Gigant, 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 Gigant. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's it's gi giant, gigant, who knows? But it is a micro IPA, 3.3% alcohol by volume. Really small little beer here. Um, no listed IBUs on the very orangey and, and classic left field looking can. Got some more baseball stuff there, pretty damn cool. <clears throat> Short can, micro IPA, I did a nano IPA from Collective Arts, I think that was their IPA number 10, if I'm not mistaken. That was a nano IPA. I'm guessing micro IPA is the same thing because even the nano was about 3, 3.2, if I'm not mistaken. This is 3.3. So, like I said, no IBUs here, no IBUs on the website, and no IBUs. Oh, I lied. IBUs are listed on Untapped uh, 25, they are saying. So, without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Innocent Gun tulip style glass because, well, this is, I'm running out of glasses. I need to do a glasses wash, washing glasses. If you want to know how I wash my glasses, you can actually you can actually check that video up right about here. Go enjoy it. It's a, it's a fun experience. Looking at the beer itself, very very light yellow, extremely light straw yellow. Yes, indeed, white head on top. Not too much on that particular pour, but hey, it's fine by me on the nose. Piney, grapefruit, fruity as per usual. Citrusy, very citrusy. Oranges, lemons. Hint of pineapple. I wouldn't say mango, but I'd say like a sweet melon. Yeah, something like that going on here. Let's give it a little agitation to see what pops up. Whoa, I do not want to spill this glass. This is not a good swirling glass. Yeah, pineapple just seems to pop up a little bit more. Yeah, fairly good nose. Fairly citrusy, pineapple-y, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Citrus, more, more on the citrus end. Let's have a sip. On the sip, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a light IPA in a sense. Yeah, um, hmm. Nano IPAs, I know this is only the second one, or micro IPA, micro IPA, sorry, they're, um, it's like a baby session IPA in a sense, but with, yeah, it's like a baby session IPA, um, it's even smaller than that, it's like IP, like double, triple, double IPA, imperial IPA, IPA, session IPA, micro IPA, it's, it has all the same flavors and qualities of, of, of their bigger brothers, but in a much smaller package this one's definitely more citrus forward but i did get a nice bready note bready multi note in the background or not in the background but on the on the end on the tail end of the sip so that was just the first sip though we're gonna see what changes what happens with this so cheers everybody let's keep on drinking yes very citrus forward grapefruit not much pine on the actual sip but more on the nose then you're diving into more of like a lemon lime sort of zestiness going on. Maybe a touch of like an orange in there, maybe like a, like an orange rind in, in, in a sense. And then it finishes like a white bready. Make sure between white bread and actual uh, like, like the, 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 the crackers that you usually have with soup. Something like that, more, a little bit more on the cracker, crackery uh, note um, as, as the finish. Fairly good though. You know what, if you really enjoy IPAs, but 
you know, you, um, you don't want to have a big boozy IPA per se. Um, well, this, this would actually be a really great option for you. 3.3%, so way low on the alcohol. So if you do have to uh, drive later in the day, you're not running the risk of, 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 uh, of drinking and driving, something that I do not advocate, like never drink and drive. That's a terrible, terrible thing to do to you and everybody else around you. Um, but if you were really, you know, or if, if, if you were out somewhere and this beer was available, say like at a, at a lunch or something like that, or you're just at home, you, you, wanna, you wanna have a quick cold one, 3.3% is definitely not going to put you in any jeopardizing situation. I do not think. Um, again, I'm not a doctor. I can't specifically say, but you're definitely on the safer side um, compared to say like a full blown, you know, 6.5% uh, IPA. So you have that going for you, or you know, you got stuff to do the next morning, but you still want a beer. 3.3%, um, you should be good to go. Looking on the can, gigant, gigant. Giganti, I don't know how to pronounce it. Micro IPA, here you go. Again, you can take a look at it. Looking pretty stellar. Like I said, 3.3%. Uh, no descriptions, but we do have food pairings. And they're uh, walking tacos. <clears throat> Whatever a walking taco is. Like taking a walk and talking, or are you like a walking taco? I, wow, walking taco, that's pretty cool. Um, never heard of it, interesting. And also pairs well with honey and jalapeno pizza. Never had a jalapeno, uh, uh, <laughs> a honey and, jalap and jalapeno pizza, but it does sound pretty good. It looks like it's gonna offset the, uh, the sweet and the spicy. Ingredients in this beer are water, malted barley, oats, hops, and yeast. Brewed and canned at Leftfield Brewery Incorporated, 36 Wangstaff Drive, Toronto, Canada. Canned on May 19th, 2020. Clearly labeled Independent Craft Brewery Microbrasier Independente. Nothing on the bottom because, well, you got the date code on the side of the can. Easy to read. I love that. Keep cool and drink fresh. I'm just so sad. It's a small can. I want the big tall cans. Leftfield, please, please, could you do it? Could the Leftfield gods give us what we want and want the big tall boys just have to wait and see moving over to the website leftfieldbrewery.ca you go to the beer section you do find gigant gigant uh micro ipa it says you save a dollar we'll get into pricing in a little bit um there is a nice description here it reads uh, introducing Gigant Micro IPA, a light, hazy IPA with loads of flavor, clocking in at a sessionable 3.3% ABV. This deliciously crisp and hop-forward ale is named for Astros All-Stars Jose Altuve, Altuve's larger-than-life nickname, and is brewed with Centennial and Wakatu hops, providing a fresh fruit and floral aromatics and flavors of light papaya and gentle orange zest. I definitely butchered that name. Light papaya and gentle orange zest. See, I was getting, it seems a little bit more citrusy for me. Wasn't really getting the papaya, but hey, everybody always says something different and that's pretty damn cool. Also papaya for me, it's not that flavorful, so it's hard for me to pick that out. Again, they do list the ballpark pairings on their website, Walkin' Tacos and Honey and Jalapeno Pizza. Fairly straightforward. Over on, over on Untapped, Gigant has been given a 3.59 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 806 ratings. And finally, at your local LCBO, you can find this for $3.25. Expensive. Especially for, well, it's not expensive if it's a tall can, but because it's a short can, Mm, it's a it's a bitter pill to swallow to be honest but it is pretty damn good not gonna lie so if you have that extra coins you can definitely treat yourself to these me myself I do not have that kind of coins to spend on, on a short can especially a short can at only 3.3 percent um, so I won't be getting it too too often but damn it's got a ton of flavor for how light it actually is even on the mouthfeel, it's light. It's not airy. It's weird. It's it's weird because it. The beer sometimes can seem a little airy, but then it, it's not because the flavors just keep popping back up. 
all in all, it's a solid, solid beer. So yeah, 325 at your local LCBO for the 355 ML can. But on uh, Left Field's website, you can pick up a four pack for $12, making it $3 per can. So pretty damn cool. Overall, fairly pleased with this. It's an IPA, but it's it's like micro, micro, microscopic. It's, it's small, it's tiny IPA. Tiny IPA, that's a great name for a beer. I'm copywriting that. Definitely not, but tiny IPA sounds sounds really fun. Um, but yeah, fairly good beer. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. 3.3%. You can't go wrong. I mean, it's not gonna put you on your ass, but if you want to have a drink to drink all night, you got it right here. With that said, guys, cheers on the final sip. Let's get right to and wrap this thing up. Giant, gigant, giganti, I don't know again how to pronounce it properly, but hey, that's fine. It's a good beer. It's a pretty damn good beer. Solid, solid 8 out of 10 for me. I wish there was more flavor, but that's not the kind of beer it is. But for what it is, it's damn delicious. As for presentation, do love the look of the cans left field, always doing a bang up job. No complaints there. No description on the actual can. Bit of a bummer, but again, you got a lot less real estate to work with with, the, with these short cans. But you do have food pairings right on the can, which is awesome. You got a clearly labeled brewed uh, or packaged on date ingredient, and ABVs are listed. You're good to go. Website helps you out with the, uh, with the again, uh, food pairings, and also a nice description of the beer. So all in all, in all, pretty damn good presentation. The only thing that's missing is really IBUs. And description on the can, but you got it there. Mm, solid shit. Solid 8 out of 10 as well for presentation. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all of that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Brewski, it'd be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's gonna do it for me. And with all that said, that's gonna do it for me, Mate Brewski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Short cans mean short pours because you don't have a lot of time between the fill can going into the fill glass and I don't know where the hell that came from. Cheers.